I used Burnett Forever Fleece Super Bulky Six Weight Yarn in four different colors, White Noise, Cornflower, Matcha, and Chamomile. You can use any colors you like. I'll leave the links for those in my description. The blanket ended up being about 62 inches wide and 70 inches long but it's very easy to adjust the size, make it as big or small as you like. All right, let's get started on this chunky millstone pattern. I've made this before uh, as a baby blanket. This one's much, much bigger. If you follow my pattern at uh, 122 chains, uh, it will end up being about 62 inches wide. And then mine was also about 70 inches long. Any multiple of 10 plus two more chains at the end. This is just my sample. So I have chained 42 in my color A, which for me is white noise. That color A is going to be the border of all the bricks. This is my color B, cornflower, very pale blue. Color C, matcha, just a beautiful green and chamomile, really pretty yellow, not, not too bright, kind of muted. All right, so I have my 42. And again, this is just for the sample size. The written pattern is at i-crochet.com. So come into the second chain from the hook. Don't count that. One, two, turn it over, because we're going to go into the back bump. You don't absolutely have to, but you'll thank me later if you took the time to do this. The edge just looks a lot nicer. So into the back bump with a single crochet all the way across. If you get lost, come back, find your next chain, turn it over, find that back bump, and single crochet. I decided to make this blanket. Um, I love the millstone pattern. I wanted a bigger blanket and I wanted springtime colors. The funny thing is the only color I changed from the baby blanket was I switched out instead of rose hip, kind of a dark pink, I'm using cornflower, that really light blue. It completely changes the look of the blanket. It's just, it looks really springtime. <laughs> nice bright colors. Uh, the baby blanket was, it looks more like fall colors. I'll, I'll show you a picture of them side by side. It, it just floored me how different they looked. All right, so continue across. You're going to have all single crochet back bump only. If you're piece, your bottom edge here, your row one, curls up on you too much, go back and make your chains with, uh, go up a size in the hook and then come back down. I'm do using a nine millimeter hook. All right, I'll meet you when you're at the end of right. End of row one, chain one. Turn. Find that very first stitch and make a single crochet. There will always be two rows of the border and two rows of each of the brick stitches. So that's it. Just make sure you're going into the whole stitch the front and the back go right in there with a single crochet all the way across. Should be looking like this. We're on the wrong side right now. You know you're on the wrong side because the tail from the original chain is on the right. I uh, will meet you when you're at, the end, at the end of row two. This is the last stitch. Let's go in that last stitch. Now, 
I'm going to do a couple of things when we're switching colors. I'm going to switch over to my color B now. I'm going to act like I'm completing this single crochet. I'm going to cut my yarn, give myself a few inches there, pull it through. This just grabs onto it. Now this is where the smaller hook comes in. I am simply going to come under these stitches, pull this through. It's just going to help lock this in a little bit better than if you were just carrying it along. If you want to, you can weave it in down in here. I did not find the need to do that. I'm going to leave it right now and I'll cut it later. Now, for our row three, this is going to be a row where we start out with a full brick. The next row of bricks after the next border will be a partial brick and then it'll go back to a full brick. So this first row with your color B, whatever color that might be. Leave yourself a tail there. Come through. This full stitch starts off with a single crochet. So we do get to do a, a chain here. It's a little different. Well, it's a lot different on the partial. Okay, we're going to pull, find your tail there. Pull that through. Just leave it. You, you have your chain one. Turn. Actually, let's, it's wanting to go to the front. So let's do that. We're right in the middle there. So we're going to start off with a single crochet. And now we start our actual pattern. It's going to start with a single crochet, end with a single crochet, but this is our actual pattern. So single crochet, we're still working over that tail there. Now a half double crochet, so yarn over, go in your stitch, pull through, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, but what I want you to do is catch that tail in there. You have two strands. Pull it through. Find that tail and pull it through. By doing this, it really holds that in there. If you, You'll find out if you have to come back and uh, undo some of your stitches. It takes a little doing to get that stitch out. And now we're working over. We're still working over the white. So make, make sure you're going in that whole stitch there. So that was a half double. And now we're going to do five double crochet. One. Two. That's the end of our tail there. We're not going to do any more of that tail. Three. Pull through two, pull through two, four, pull through two, pull through two, and five. It will all make sense to you later. <laughs> Everything is in a series of nine. So we had, if you get confused, you can go back. We all start with an extra single crochet, single crochet, half double. One, two, three, four, five, double. Since we're going back down, it's just making a little bit of a curve. Half double. Going down further, a single. Chain one, skip one. Going to start that all over again. Single crochet. 
half double, five double, one, two, three, four, five, half double, because we're going back down, and a single. Remember that chain. Skip one. Always remember to skip one, and we'll start that over again. Single, half double, five double, one, two, three, four, and five. Now a half double and a single and a chain one. Skip. Start all over. Single. We're going to end with the whole brick on this row. Half double, five double, one, two, three, four, and five. Remember to bring your loops up as we're coming up. We don't want it to be all scrunched up. Back to half double, a single. Now we're not going to make a chain at the end of our row. The chain spaces are going to mark where we come down with our um, double crochet spike stitch to pull these together. So no, no chain after that single crochet. You just finish off with a single crochet. If you want to, just to keep your edges even straighter, come into that chain, the top of that chain. and finish your single crochet. Pull that kind of snug. It should be looking something like this. If it's puckering, just kind of flatten it out with your hand. It'll be fine. All right. That was row three. We're on row four. Turn. And it's a repeat. All right, let's repeat row three. You start off with that extra single crochet to help keep your edge straight. Another single crochet, half double, and five double. The stitches below are the same stitch that you're making now. If you can just clearly see what the stitches, you don't need to count. I like to count. I do know I'm working this. <laughs> there's my chain, there's my single, there's my half. So if I get a little confused, as long as you did all the stitches correctly in the row before, you're good to go. And a single. Make sure that you chain one. You're skipping over that chain one from the previous row and you're starting all over again. Single half double and five double. The only time you put that extra single is at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row with this full brick. There's my fifth double, my half double, single, chain one, and skip over to the single crochet. The single crochet is going to look really wide open. It's kind of a V there. So continue all the way over 
you can see that your brick is getting thicker. Okay, I'll meet you when you're at the end of your row. All right, we're at the end of row four. And you're just going to make your two single crochets at the end. Your last single crochet from your nine stitch repeat. And then the extra single crochet that we have at the end of the row and come into that chain if you want to and make your single crochet. This is how it should be looking. You can see the bricks are getting thicker. And again, we're going to come through as though we're completing that single crochet. I had already cut my yarn there. Come in and hold your stitch with your hook, get your smaller hook. Don't worry about that uh, tail there. We're just going to cut that later. And again, the only reason I do this is to kind of weave in the tail and it does hold it in better than simply working over it. And if you want to, you can weave it in a little bit more or you can simply uh, weave it in you can weave in all your ends at, at the end. I just don't care to do that. This is just a much, much simpler way. So we're switching back over to color A. Give yourself a good tail there. Going to use that. Can pull through. Give yourself a chain. Include the tail in the chain. And then pull that tail through. And we're going to use that. We're going to lock it in in just a minute. Turn. The next two rows will be single crochet. Uh, this particular row, row five, also has the double crochet spike stitch in it. But we're going to start off, since this is a full brick row, Oh, let's get rid of that pesky tail. I promise you these lock in really well. All right. We have our full brick stitch here. We're going to start off with our extra stitch, and then we have nine stitches. And that'll bring us up to that chain. And we're going to find our chain and the chain below it and then the stitch below that. That's where our double crochet spike stitch will, will go in. We'll, I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, pull that tail along. We're going to hook it in in just a minute. So here's your extra single crochet from the row. Again, it just helps straighten out your row at the, ed the edge there. And here we start with our nine single crochet. So one, Two, I'm going to go ahead and work my tail in here. Pull it through. It's going to be in there nice and tight. All right, that was my first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It can get confusing because that single crochet from below can get pretty wide. You, you can confuse that for the chain space. As long as you're counting your stitches correctly, you're, you're good. All right. Let's do our double crochet spike stitch. There's your chain space. There's the chain space below it, and we want the stitch right below that. I usually hold on to it with my thumb. I do use my thumbs a lot. <laughs> There's my stitch. 
So you're going to yarn over. We're just making a double crochet. Keep your working yarn to the right or it does tend to get twisted and it won't be as straight in the back. Pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and now you can tighten it up. And that's your double crochet spike stitch. Just gives you a nice little finish to your border there. And again, nine single crochet. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> Sometimes I'm looking at the camera and it throws me off. All right, we're back up to our chain space there. There's one, one row below. Single crochet right before it. There's the other chain space. You can kind of pull on it, straighten it out a little bit, and that will help you to figure out where that stitches you want in the th three rows below. I'm going to make that double crochet spike stitch. Make sure you keep that yarn over to the right and tighten it up just a little bit. Give you a little more definition. And we're just going to continue with that nine single crochet followed by a spike stitch. It's really easy, although the next row is even easier. You can always fast forward this, slow it down, put it on mute <laughs> if you just want to read the text and, and follow along visually. You can always go and find the written pattern at my, on my website at i-crochet.com. There's my chain space. I'm in the right spot. And that's the stitch I want. Yarn over, go through, keep that yarn to the right. Pull, pull that loop up. Little fuzz there. Pull through two, pull through two, and tighten it up. I just like looking at it and feeling it. <laughs> this yarn is so soft. It's a pleasure to work with. All right, another nine single crochet. <laughs> I got tired of hearing myself count. And remember, you have an extra single crochet at the beginning and at the end. So when you get to that 10th stitch and you say, oh no, I have 10 stitches, <laughs> it's fine. It's supposed to be that way. Nine plus one. All right, so chain one, turn. Row six, I love row six. All single crochet all the way across. Though I have to admit if it was all single crochet, for every single row, I would be incredibly bored. <laughs> this is a great pattern. It goes back and forth um, between a variety of stitches and then just some single crochets. Give you a little bit of a break. I absolutely love the way it looks. It's one of my very favorite patterns. And you can make it as big as you want. You can make a little baby blanket out of it. That's what my first one was. All right, we're at the end of that easy row. All right, row we're almost to row seven. Remember, these are all going to be repeats. Um, three, four, now, five, six, when you get to seven, row seven, eight. we're not going to make a chain. Nine, ten, it's going to be a partial. All right. Brick. Every, these uh, bricks will be alternating. I have a, a this one was a full brick. I can go into that. Don't have you can to. go into the top okay. of that chain if you like. Yes, I do. All right. uh, this was a full brick. 
The next one is going to be a partial brick, which will start off with um, a stacked single crochet or a chainless double crochet, however you want to say it. I'm saying a stacked single crochet. And again, I'm just weaving in my tail if you want to, you can, um, weave it from my color A, and I'm going to be moving there. on to my color C. I just like to leave it's another thing I like, changing colors. Three, four, it's fine. All you need. All right, you get the idea. <laughs> We're going to switch over. One of the reasons I like this pattern so much okay, is because here we you go. keep changing stitches and colors, and I don't get bored. Ready? It's like, ooh, yay! I to get switch color. colors. So color yay. for me is <laughs> It's just one of my favorite things. Blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow. It just I love this color combination. The blue and the yellow remind me of flowers, or the sky and sunshine, this and then the green reminds me of leaves. All right, now remember, no chain. We're uh, just partial, going to turn. Uh, a brick. Instead of being a full brick, you're going to have just a partial. And then your spike stitches will be. And in yeah, your uh, spike <laughs> stitch will be in the middle. Border rows. So they're not don't stacked. Don't do a chain here because we're going to do <laughs> a stacked single crochet All or right. chainless and we double turn. crochet, whatever you want to call it. Now this it. is where we make is. our and stacked single crochet. It just gives you a really nice stitch. You I like the stitch so much because chain two or chain it really three. mimics like the double crochet it. much, much you better than just making a chain like two. Alright, so, All right, so you want to make sure you're coming into that very first stitch. Single. Pull both through. Crochet. Whoops, I don't want to bring the tail through yet. Let's leave that tail hanging out. We'll catch that in a minute. But work under it. Oops. So you're going to do Decided single not crochet. To pull both through. <laughs> find your left loop of that single crochet. It would make it too bulky. <laughs> we'll go in. Try and look at the we'll camera. work that in. In the next one or two. Okay, go in the left loop pull of that single crochet. Through. You have another two You've loops. You've got two loops. Yarn over, crochet. pull through, make another so single crochet. Stacked, and that's your stacked crochet, double, crochet. Like double crochet. Easy you know, as that. You come back, you have this nice stitch. And it really looks like a double into. crochet. Instead the great thing about it is when you come back around, you're going to have that stitch at the top to work so into instead of just the top of the chain. So now we're going to do two more. We're going to have three just It works out so much better. One, two, three. So we need All two right. more. Now, two more double crochet. One. And one more. Now with this one, here's where you're working underneath. Remember, you're going underneath that color tail color. there. We're gonna, two, we're going to start it. Two loops. And then I'm now I'm going to pull that tail in. And come through those. And I can't tell you how well that locks that in. Loops. It's great. Just pull that tail Turn through. The tail and pull it through. And really, you can forget about it now. And that, I'm telling you, that is locked in there. It's not going anywhere. So we have three. So double three crochets. double crochet. Stacked single, but see how much it looks like the others. All right, now we we're going down. Half One double. half double crochet because remember this is a partial brick. And a single crochet and chain, chain one. one. Skip one. Skip one. And, and we're going to start a regular, regular nine stitch pattern single now. Crochet, single crochet, half, half double, double crochet. This is your nine stitch pattern. Five double. Five double crochet. One. Two. Two. I want to show you. You'll know you're in your the third right and your fourth spot. double crochet. Three. We'll go on uh, right above that spike crochet stitch crochet from above below. This spike stitch from below. So That's kind of how you know if you're in the right Sometimes spot. It won't look like it's right three, above until you make the stitch. And then you can see pull it and apart. Four will be on the other side That's of right the spike. Two. And that's There's four. four. And it's always going to be that way. Right there. Right in the middle. Five. And five. 
We're just working that same nine stitch pattern. Continue again. on with our pattern. Brick, Half double brick. over. We only do the partial brick at the Going beginning. Going down the hill a little bit Half here. Half double. And a single. Single. Chain. chain one. Skip one. Skip one. And back to our pattern. Single and crochet. And start our nine stitch pattern again. Look how pretty that looks. It's a, it Isn't is that a pretty? Lighter. So if you can feel how soft and thick this color. is. It's not a dark olive green, kind of a medium. It's still a great it blanket so for the springtime because it's like leaves. it still gets cool here All at right, night. So we started and even if it's warm step. during the day, the air conditioner is on right. and I get chilly, Stitch, so I still like having a blanket. All right, here we go. I already did my single crochet. Half double. Half double. Five. One. Double. One. Two. Two. See my third Three. double crochet. See we're on the one side of that spike stitch. And my fourth Four is double on crochet. the other side. Boop. <laughs> right above. Here that you go. Spike stitch. That's how you know you're from below. You're in the right spot. That's what helps me. And five. That's three and four. That's five. Going so back, back I'm down. Going half, half double. Half double because we're making our brick. And a single, single chain and one, a chain. skip one, and a skip single. Skip one, so continue that all and way a single. Until you're there, you go. At your last brick, I will meet you there because that all is right, continue. Right here is my last full brick from this row. I had a single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet. Half double crochet. You should have three stitches left. And those are going to be three double crochet, which will mimic the beginning of your row. After this, it gets pretty easy. You can just look. I know this had to be a partial row because this was a full brick row. When I make my next brick row, it will be a full brick row in case you get confused. And also make sure you're following your same color pattern. It's easy to miss a color. All right, because there was a chain down here, I can include that. And that's my last double crochet of the row. We're not going to chain, I'm going to turn. We're going to do that stacked single again, or chainless double, whatever you want to call it. There's no chain. We're just going to go straight into that first stitch with a single crochet. And then into the left loop of that single crochet, pull your yarn through, two loops, pull through. Whoever came up with this was a genius. It is so much nicer than having the chains. All right, so two more. You're just following the same. As row seven. Half double. Oops, I'm sorry. I can't count. One, two, three double. You hear that a lot in crochet. <laughs> we can count. So easy to miss a stitch. And a single. So now chain one, skip that chain space. And start your full stitch, your full brick, your nine stitches single, half double, five double, one, two, three, four, five, half double. single. Chain one and continue your pattern all the way across. It will meet you at the end of this row. Right, we're almost at the end of the row. This is where you decide if you want to um, pull this tail down 
any further. You absolutely don't need to, but you can. Pull it down into here if you want to. Just keeps it from popping out. And that's my other tail. I'm going to work over it. You Again, you don't really need to because it is stuck in there. All right, there was my single crochet chain. Single. Half double. And three double at the end. And this is where you'll be glad that you did that stacked single because it gives you a nice stitch to work into. I'll work over that tail. So three double. One, two, and drop the tail. And that's the top. And I didn't have a chain, so there's no chain to work into. Whoops. If you have trouble getting into it, it means you, <laughs> your stitch was tight, you can use a smaller hook just to pull that through. And that's my double. Now, same thing's going to happen. I'm going to pull this on through. Give yourself a tail to work over. This part's not necessary, but I feel like I might lose my place if I don't put my hook in there. Again, you don't even have to do this. If you don't mind weaving in ends, you can go back and weave in ends to your heart's desire. It's not my favorite thing to do. You feel like you're finished with your blanket, and then you have to go back in and weave in your ends. I hate that. <laughs> I really do. All right. Now, you need a border for your bricks. Give yourself a tail. Come through. Now you do get to make a chain because these are single crochets. And pull that tail through. Oop. And turn. <laughs> I'm running out of white yarn. I can cut this one now from the previous row. All right, bring that tail around. These will be all single crochet. Now, because this was a partial brick, we're only going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, before you get to your chain space to make your double crochet spike stitch. So five single crochet. Work over that tail. I'm just going to do two. One. Yeah, I want to pull that through. Pull your tail through. And leave it hanging out. That was two. Three, four. Remember the stitches are going to be a little thicker the first few stitches because you pulled your tail through there. And this will be five. I'm always tempted to chain and skip at this point, <laughs> but this is my border. It's so hard to change mid pattern, but I also like it because I don't get bored. So there's your chain space. There's the chain space below it. And there's the stitch below that. I'm just going to hold on to that so I know what I'm doing. Bring this over to the right. Just stays a lot straighter. And it keeps it even in the back instead of crossing over in the back. Okay, now we're going to go back, because these are full bricks, go back to nine 
single crochet and then your double crochet spike stitch. <laughs> I do have some knots in here because I was running out of white yarn. But it's just a sample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It, this can get confusing because that kind of looks like the chain, but that's just your single crochet from below. It separates quite a bit. So that was nine. Just check yourself. That is your chain space. That is your chain space. And that is the stitch you want to go into for your spike stitch, double crochet spike stitch. I tried it with a single crochet, but it didn't, it just didn't look right. The double crochet spike stitch works better. And it looks uh, the same in the front and the back. So continue on. When you get to the end, remember it's a partial. So you will do your spike stitch here and then you will have five, one, two, three, four, five stitches at the end. I'll meet you at the end. All right, we're almost to the end. Here's going to this will be my last double crochet spike stitch way down here. There's the chain, there's the chain, there's the stitch I want from 3 rows below. Double crochet spike stitch. So cute. See it looks the same on the back. Now we should have 5 stitches. It's lovely when it all works out. One, two, oops, make sure you're going into that stitch, three, four, and when you get to the last one, make sure you're going into the front and the backs. Loop. And remember, there was no chain, so we're not going to work into anything over here, but those end up really nice. It's a nice edge. There is absolutely no need for a border. All right, this is the easy row. Chain one and turn and all single crochet. I'll meet you at the end. Yay, of the row. we're at the end of the row. Remember, this is the wrong side. The tail from our initial chain is over to the right. It does look a, just a tiny bit different from the right side. The right side's just a little bit prettier. I'm just working over that tail. Again, don't need to. It's not going anywhere. Find that B. And then that part of the chain there. If you want to, don't have to. I already cut the tail from my, be very careful because if you cut one of your crochet stitches, it would not be good. It's better to leave that tail longer and deal with it, pulling it in, than to cut your crochet stitches because that's hard to come back from. From now on, it is going to be a repeat of rows three through 10, I believe. Yes, so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. You're going to start off. Row 11 is going to be a full brick, whatever color it is you've chosen. Mine would be uh, my color D. Chamomile. It's so pretty. So just if you have any 
concerns go back and start it from row three and continue on and uh, I think you'll find it pretty easy just remember to count your stitches turn it over to the right side and oh I did want to mention that each brick is right around four and a half inches maybe five inches so that can help to determine uh, how long you want your chain to be every 10 chains would be about one brick and then at the highest part of the, the brick all the way up to the border let's start here is, is three three and a half inches so that can also help to determine how long you want yours to be this did take four skeins about for color a the white noise and two skeins each of my other colors so if you're using three colors for bricks it will take and you're making it as big as i did uh, 62 by 70 somewhere in there two skeins of each of your other colors obviously if you only use two colors you'll need more and if you use more than three colors you'll need less i hope that helps if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section um if you liked it give me a thumbs up appreciate it subscribe appreciate that too and if you want to look at my other videos just click on my little logo there the pink logo i dash crochet and click on videos or my playlist for free crochet patterns and it'll show you all my patterns also my patterns are at www.i-crochet.com and they those are all my written patterns and they are all free and there are no ads thanks for watching